So um, once you've made your order or placed your order for your maps on Digimap, um, you will be sent a couple of emails. One is the confirmation email that you've placed the order, um, and then you will get a second email um, with a download link in it, which, um, which will allow you to then download the um, GIS data that you've ordered. Um, so I'm now here with the um, download email, so I'm going to just click on the download link there which is going to take me back to the Digimap website. Now, depending on whether you're there or not, you will have to log back in. So I'm just going to quickly log back in um, to Digimap. And I'm going to just have to do that again. So I'm just going to flick back over to the link and hopefully it will take me to a download page. There we go. Right, so it's telling me about the order, um, saying it's ready and it's telling me the file size. Um, so I'm going to just simply download that. Again, depending on what software you're using, it will probably either download it automatically to your downloads folder, um, which it's going to do in my case, um, or it may down ask you where you'd like to save it. So the first thing we need to do once the file is downloaded is actually go and find it. Um, and there's a couple of things we need to do as well. So it should now be in my downloads folder. So there it is right at the top of the list. Um, first thing you'll notice is that it's actually a compressed file. It's what we call a zipped file. Um, so we can't actually look or load the maps up into QGIS until we unzip um, the maps that are inside there. And again, this will vary depending on the piece of software that is installed in your operating system. And in fact, it will vary depending on what your operating system is, whether it be Windows 7, which is what we're using here, or Windows 8. Um, so, or again, if you're using a Mac, it will also be slightly different. Um, but in this example, it's Windows 7. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the zipped file and I've got the option here to extract all. Um, and then it's asking me for a location. Now I can put them anywhere temporarily and then I can move them into my GIS folders. Um, so I'm gonna just temporarily extract them into the downloads folder for now. Um, and I mean, that's quite a temporary option. So there we go, they've extracted. So what I'm left with for this example, because I chose to download two different map scales, I've got a folder um, with each of the different map size scales. So I've got all my 1 to 10,000 maps are in this first one, all my 1 to 25 are in the second one. And then I've got some other information here, which is about the data. This is what we call metadata. Um, and there is some information about how this data was generated in these, these text files. And there's also some information about the license and the information you would need to include if you actually end up publishing or producing these maps in any way in a printed format. So. Um, I'm going to basically now just create myself um, a folder to store all my GIS data on my hard drive. So I've created one here called QGIS um, and inside there I'm going to just um, create another folder called Original Data. Data. And that's where we're going to start storing all of our maps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come across here to that temporary location and find it from there. So if I just do a quick search, hopefully it should come up. Just a quick way to filter. Right, so there we go. So that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab all of this lot. So I'm going to just do a right click and I'm going to do cut. And then I'm going to simply navigate back to my GIS. Uh, original data and then I'm going to paste inside there. So that's now moved the data. I'm going to now create another subfolder um, called OS data because that is OS data and again I'm going to just simply select those and I'm going to drag them in and there we go. So now we've organized our data into another subfolder just to keep things nice and straightforward and organized and tidy. Um, so that is basically downloading your data from Digimap um, using the zip software to extract it and then move it into um, a sort of sensible, logical folder structure ready to be opened up inside your GIS software package.